Business is back in Frankfurt. At noon today, lawmakers in the House and Senate officially kicked off the 2024 General Assembly session. Bodie Brooks has been at the Capitol since the first gavel dropped. Bodie, what can we expect this year from Frankfurt? Yeah, Marvin, Andrea, in many ways, the first day of session is a lot like the first day of school, at least has the same feel to it among the dozens. And I mean dozens of bills filed today. We're still waiting on the big one, the budget, but there's going to be plenty of other issues that are going to keep people talking throughout the year here in Frankfurt from crime to charter schools. One day down and 59 more to go for the 2024 General Assembly session. Not much exciting happens on the first day. Rules and regulations are adopted and lawmakers lined up to file their first bills. But the two-year state budget, not yet among them. My guess is it'll be next week. It's the one thing that we are constitutionally obligated to do. And um, as President Stivers always says, it is kind of the ultimate uh, policy document. So. Uh, that will take precedent. Governor Andy Bashir delivered a budget proposal right before the holidays in hopes that the Republican-led legislature's version takes some suggestions. Speaker David Osborne isn't revealing much of what's in the GOP's proposal yet, but says unlike Bashir's, theirs will likely tap into the state's growing rainy day fund and put that extra money towards the state's troubled pension liability. Which is certainly not a, a real sexy thing. I uh, often, often liken uh, that to pumping out a septic tank, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's something that has to be done. The budget isn't all that's on the agenda this year. Osborne says there's considerable interest among Republicans to revisit charter schools with a constitutional amendment. We're going to be fighting against that as we have done every single time that uh, charters vouchers have come up. The slim number of Democrats are also watching for the details of a much talked about crime bill by Louisville lawmakers. That is coming all at the same time that there's growing bipartisan support for some type of uh, legislation about uh, gun safety. Now, in most years, adopting the rules is not a significant part of the day, but there was an attempt in some debate by Democrats to change them after a report by the League of Women Voters was critical of the General Assembly's transparency. Live at the State Capitol in Frankfurt, I'm Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.